Hi, welcome to Miss Annette's Little Farm in the Big City. It's very rainy outside today, but it's nice and warm. It's a good day for me today to clean up this mess of an office. I want to do a few updates to it, so let's get started. I've got a lot of work to do, and I have a feeling that this is going to be a two-parter. This is a mess. It's a huge mess because I just pile things up on my desk or I just have been shoving things here and there, here in my office. So to get this redo started, I'm going to start with a blank slate. I'm going to take everything in this room out. I'm going to paint the walls and then I'm going to start from there. And I picked a nice little, a kind of a brownish color for the walls. So it would look again a little bit like brick. And it would warm up the walls a little bit. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to paint around the windows. The window trim yet or the wood trim up there yet. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do that yet. But as I paint, I'll start making up my mind then. But I've got a big job ahead of me just trying to get all of this stuff. Oh my goodness. But it's going to be worth it because I really need to get this office cleaned up and organized and just to warm it up a little bit. I haven't really been using it in the cold weather, even though I have a space heater in here. Because it's so cold and I just dump all my stuff in here and then leave. So I'm hoping that once I get it warmed up and get it all straightened out, it's going to look nice. All these plants. When I have a new piece of furniture and I cleaned it all up and I'm ready to use this instead of some of my other things. Trying to make the decisions of what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. Um, so let's just get started by cleaning everything and moving it all out. And like I said before, I think this is going to be a two days, two day, two dayer to get everything out and then paint and then put everything back in. But anyway, that's further down the road. Let's go ahead and get started by cleaning this place, clearing this place out. That's what happens sometimes. You get really busy and there's always something that gets neglected and this room happened to be it. All these pictures on the wall are pictures of me that students drew and they mean a lot to me but they're really starting to get faded so I have to take them down. Even though I love looking at them, I'm ruining them by having them up here. So I'm going to start taking all this stuff down and I'm going to find a good spot for that, for those pictures. Aren't they cute? This is what my living room looks like right now. It's a disaster. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready to paint. I'm having trouble getting these nails out, so I got to get some of these nails out. But and then I um, spackled a few places here and there. 
but we're ready to paint. However, I want to show you something. It is really warm. It's 50, 52, 53 degrees out, and I am so excited. I was outside checking on the animals, water, hay, you know, that stuff, and then I noticed this. Have this wall finished. Now, the more I paint, the more I see this as a little bit yellow. But, follow me. All of the white trim, I'm going to be painting that a creamy white. So that is going to kind of, uh, um, it's not going to be so blue blue white. It's going to be a creamy white and that's going to make everything a little bit softer. Today we're, going, today we're going to paint the trim. We have the walls all painted. It looks really good. I'm still very happy with this color. I think it's going to really pop once I get that kind of creamy color on everything. Now I was trying to decide whether I wanted to paint this door, the color of the walls, or if I wanted to paint them the color of the trim. I'm still trying to decide on that. This, this front porch has two doors. It has this storm door and then the regular leaded glass door. We have leaded glass in this window here and in that door. Our home is from the 1920s. It's almost 100 years old. Um, it'll be 100 years old, let's see, in a couple of years, yeah. So it's almost there. And I know sometimes painting brick is not a good idea, but this brick was already painted and I wanted to warm it up in here and I already feel a little bit warmer in here. So let's go ahead and paint the trim. Still moving things around, trying to figure out the space. I just want more room in here. Hmm. 
thinking about moving this out and consolidating everything on here, but then where am I going to put my plants? And I have a lot of plants. All right, I think this is the layout. I think this is what's going to work. Now I just have to put all of this huge, gigantic mess away. Oh, brother. Thank you for stopping by today. I appreciate your visiting Miss Annette's little farm in the big city. Try to get outside today if you can. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Love you.